but well, I, I kind of want to climb. This is actually kind of nice sometimes for hyenas or, you know, obviously also good with this death rattle hunter. None will survive. I still don't think there's a better control deck than Barco Warrior. It's just that control sucks right now so much. This is why I'm rank 5. Like you have to tag the deck so perfectly for the meta. Just to reach those, you cap out at 57% win rate. As you guys know, I'm playing control decks for the last five, six months. And I kept, whenever I had the most optimal list for the meta, I had around 57% win rate. It was on high, le high legend, but still, it's kind of like the cap. So if you reach 57% win rate, this is as good as it gets. Wait, how can you play Egg into Tafa? So when your deck is not tagged perfectly for the meta, you will immediately drop below 57%. And if you have below 57%, it's already like a pretty bad win rate. So you really have to squeeze out every percentage you can get. Maxwell, your your mod even. Are you like a candidate for a new mod? Let's see, yeah. Cube into play that would be the nightmare, right? Kind of. Would be okay to the extent because you would eat an egg, not a raptor. That's actually pretty sweet. Gives us... Is it? I mean, it gives us the, the kill on the, the thingy. And if he kills this, we don't really care that much. Well, Fibonacci, was he streaming? So that's like... It's kind of okay, sort of. Yeah, I like having at least one faceless. So the thing is, kill this. It's like sort of okay. Light the fuses. Uh, welcome to Hearthstone. I guess we proc it now. Is it active again? Nice. Um, oof, the big issue is we... we oof, there's a lot of big issues here. What if we just brawl and then flurry? We can't. It's We have too little damage. So I would need to trade. And then flurry, and then what? It's pretty bad, right? Oh, I don't have the mana. Double bra would be something. Who plays this as well? In it's like the worst minion he could pull from his deck. Because I only have 10 damage. Very unfortunate. Unity, precision, perfection. Hey, Nataku. The strongest cards of the new expansion? There's a lot of good cards. You should definitely check out my YouTube channel and stuff. There's just too much to talk about. Where I go over my spreadsheets and stuff. I think it's like a group of cards, it's not like one card is the best card or something like that. 
I can uh, fury into brawl, brawl into brawl, or just pass. This guy. Use Mom Cube. Use Katarina as well. If he never draws Rexa, I'd like to have the weapon out here. I like the brawl here because I can win the brawl. It's actually kind of annoying again. It's actually a pretty useful draw. So I can go for a few survives, he's left with two five fives. If he survives, I'm pretty much dead. If this survives, it's a pretty good outcome. So I only have like one good outcome. If I flurry, he's left with a five five. Could be a cube play. Nice. I think I'd rather use the dynamatic here. Light the fuses. I could bounce it back. Value is still gonna be relevant. So I kinda like keeping this combo. Especially now that he played the Rexa. I wanna go Dr. Boom because he went Rexa. Usually we need the Dr. Boom to gain momentum This jungle hides many Hero power is good, but this guy might protect me, and we know he doesn't play unleash. Another big guy. So we have like quite a lot of armor already. Wait, why am I playing dragons? I did actually queue the wrong deck, I just realized. the wrong deck. Do we want to go Dr. Boom before Reckless Flurry? Usually we don't. Hmm. Ah, this is such an annoying card. Go away. Aluth 
Nelidar. I don't think the the second Elise is so important to play here. Like one book is good enough anyways. The second flurry is I mean what people like I feel like people are spending way too much time thinking about like you know playing early access. Playing early access and oh my god, especially because he is still his cube. Do we have to go this guy? I mean, I have a brawl and flurry, but the cube is gonna be oof. I think people are spending too much time in theory crafting and playing early access and stuff like that. Considering for how stale, how quickly, how stale it gets. Like, every Hearthstone expansion gets like boring after a month. Or like two months at best and then you have like an entire month of just boredom and that's why I'm not like going to like focusing too much on like I mean I did my spreadsheets and I looked at all the cards and reviewed all the cards and stuff I like I have a pretty good understanding of what's gonna be good and bad but like traveling to places I mean it's fun to meet people I would go to meet people but not so much to uh, Play early access because I know how quickly how boring it gets or how stale it gets you know like if you play test all the decks and on my spreadsheet how many decks do we have like 20 if I play these 20 decks after like a week there's not much else to do So I'm taking my time a bit, you know. Oh yeah, another thing is, yeah, right, you can't, you have very limited options as well. It's not like you can play whatever you want. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. This guy. I mean, it's kind of fun, but the main problem is really that it, it gets too stale too quickly. Here we go, four twelves. Freaking four twelves, dude. But it's a, at least it's the second cube. Wow, this was a very bad on Goro Pack, now that I think about it. I kinda like Brawl because I have that much armor, and we have the Tinker too. <laughs> no, we don't have the second Owl. Not even Wind Fury. Hmm. I still have my shield slam for tempo and this plus weapon. the weapon oh boy is it time mad genius
Not what we wanna see him. Well, he has still terror scale. Hey, Somnio. Oh, my God. This would be a good time for a master plan. Well, that's what I call RNG. Oh, it was an overkill. Oh my god, it was an overkill. I had to bomb first. Doesn't really matter. But... It was better to do the thingy first. Slim last card. Ah, oh, I, I need this elemental. This would be a good time for a to play. It's the last button. I mean, I could kill these two guys, but. I guess I could have kind of expected it. What do we have here? With this combo, which is huge, am I finally gonna win a game against a Deferred Hunter in a 50 minutes game when I can't lose stars? We take those. You have a Tarantus? And a reasonable board. I mean, it is definitely Hunter with Rexa. I 
think he needs me to not have anything. Ha. I really want to play this Tyrantos here. This would be a good time for a master plan. That works. Yeah. 